Welcome to the Breakaway Entrepreneur Podcast, where master business coach Janet Fish and her special guests explore the characteristics and traits that lead entrepreneurs to success. Get ready for real conversations of what it takes to overcome real challenges and break away from your competition. Here's your host, Janet Fish. Thanks, Ben. Publicity is different than marketing. If you're anything like me, I focus on marketing to grow my business. However, I often overlook publicity. PR expert Jill Lublin shares her thoughts on how to grow your presence with visibility building activities. In just one hour a week, you can vastly increase the ability for your prospects to find you. And better yet, publicity is free. I hope you enjoy our chat. Are you an expert in your field? Do people know about you? Whether you're an entrepreneur, small business owner, health professional, even a direct sales professional, writing a book positions you as the authority you are and gets you the visibility you need. People buy from experts. Text me your email address to 310-640-8885. That's 310-640-8885. And I'll send you my 10 tips for publishing your best-selling book. My name is Susie Pruden. My company is Itty Bitty Publishing. We publish small books that make a big impact. With your Itty Bitty book, you can 10x your business. Itty Bitty Publishing is the fastest and easiest way to get to the top. ItbittyPublishing.com. I-T-T-Y-B-I-T-T-Y Publishing.com or 310-640-8885. All right, Breakaway Entrepreneurs, good afternoon. I'm super excited today. I am going to be, we are going to be chatting with Jill Lublin. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about Jill. Jill's an international speaker on the topics of radical influence, publicity, networking, kindness, and referrals. She is the author of four best-selling books, including Get Noticed, Get Referrals from McGraw-Hill and co-author of Guerrilla Publicity and Networking Magic. Her latest book, Profit of Kindness, went number one in four categories. Jill is a master strategist on how to position your business for more profitability and more visibility in the marketplace. She is CEO of a strategic consulting firm and has over 25 years experience working with over 100,000 people, plus national and international media. Jill teaches a virtual publicity crash course and consults and speaks all over the world. She also helps authors to create book deals and ma with major publishers and agents, as well as obtain foreign rights deals. All right. Welcome, Jill. Thank you so much. Good to be here. Good. So good to see you. So um, 25 years, veteran of PR. Tell us a little bit about what public relations is or are, is. So, you know, here's the deal. Public relations starts from the minute you walk into a Zoom room, a networking room, wherever you are, the reality is you're doing PR. Uh, so what I think is really important is to be really ready with your message, ready and knowing that it's all PR, my friends. I mean, really, life is your message, how you show up, uh, how you how you give, how you receive, how you're clear about your business. It's all PR. So if you go out there stumbling and falling, well, guess what happens? You know, right? Not much. Not much happens. So the more tight you are with your message and connected to uh, who and what you're saying out there, it makes a huge difference. So talk a little bit more about how people find their mis mis message create their message and, and deliver their message? Because I know it's all about the message. How do you do that? So one of the things, um, you know, I'm going to make it sound really easy because this is what happens when you've been in a business for a long time. Is And this is something really that all you need to listen to is don't make things complicated. Keep things really easy and five-year-old language, I like to call it, really simple, right? And so, for instance, um, it, with the message, I like to do it and break it down this way. So fill in this blank, okay? The problem today is, and then name it. Name it, not your problem, but the problem out there for the people you serve. Take away your I language and turn it into you language. And then give people three real solutions, like real things they can do, simple things, keep it 
in the present and give them real things to do. And that makes a big difference. And one of them cannot be just call me, right? right? It has to be value and benefit. It has to give real information. You know, guerrilla publicity, Janet mentioned, uh, the, this is my third book. We're actually in our third edition. So excited. Um, you know, one of the things I did was I had the privilege of talking to media across the country and asking them, what do they love and hate? And I remember the editor at Fast Company, she said to me, uh, you know, what this is all about is giving others value and benefit. Yeah. And so just keep that in mind as you're out there. That's a real key. Yeah. So uh, what I'm hearing you say and what I see a lot in my world of entrepreneurs and marketing, it's really all about them. It's all about the problem that you solve. Uh, so I have this goofy little thing that I use, um, and I know not it's not statistically correct, but I like to say that, let's say you and I are having a conversation and I wanna sell you this pen, right? So I'm, I'm gonna ask you some questions about, do you write, what kind of pens you like? And my goofy little thing is the percentage of time that you're talking as the client versus the percentage of time I'm talking is my chance of making the sale. So if I'm asking you all these great questions about pens or whatever it is, and you're talking 90% of the time, I like to say you have a 90% chance of getting the sale. And I know that's not statistically correct, but it's just an easy way to keep it about um, the other person, not about you, because we have a tendency uh, to do that. So talk a little bit about how people become an expert or what is an expert? So by the way, Jen, I love, I love the formula. I think that's really spot on. And who cares if it's statistically correct? It's <laughs> if it works and it's a way you can keep track, you know, then it's perfect. Um, and so being an expert, you know, in my opinion, all of you listening here are, right? You're smart enough to tune into this podcast. You're already an expert. You're an entrepreneur. You're a person with knowledge in a certain area. You're an expert. And when you forget, point yourself at your heart and say, I am an expert. Because <laughs> if you have to repeat that multiple times a day, it's beautiful. Go ahead and do it. Because experts need Experts are needed and the media needs experts. And that's what I want you to remember. Who is being interviewed on podcasts like this, on blogs, in uh, traditional media? It's experts, Facebook Lives, Instagram, all of it. It's experts, experts like you. So let's get you out there, marketed and, and happening out in the world. Okay, so I, I love that. Um, so you are all about publicity. And so I want you to go a little bit deeper into like, what is publicity? Why do I need it? I think about marketing, right? We as entrepreneurs usually think about marketing, but I want you to peel away that onion and talk about publicity and, and what that means and why I need it. So marketing, I, I think of it like this. Marketing is the tree, right? It's important. It's the foundation. On, in marketing are multiple branches. Uh, one of them is publicity. What I love about publicity is that it's free. And the power of what it does is generates that name recognition. So when an entrepreneur says, do I need it? Absolutely. I mean, I can tell you story after story of entrepreneurs in the practice of publicity who by getting in a podcast drove their website uh, visits up by 30 to 50 percent um, by getting uh, listed in a in a newspaper article recently one of my clients as a consultant right so she's got something she, she doesn't have a product to sell except her service which most entrepreneurs have she got a, an engagement because the guy googled her and said hey i saw you show up in the minneapolis star tribune um, so what i what i'm looking at is the power of of media, right? And by getting into and having it being one of your marketing activities needs to be publicity. This could be one hour a week. This does not have to, you know, be every day even. Um, but, you know, think about one hour a week and say to yourself this question, what am I going to do today in this hour to create a visibility building activity? 
And that might be following a reporter who's in your area, for instance. Um, maybe if you're a financial person, you're going to follow financial reporters on social media, by the way, I think is a super cool strategy to follow reporters in the areas of which you are uh, which you are in business with, right? So uh, that's really good. I want you on Google Alerts and putting in your name and your one keyword of exactly what you're most focused on uh, and get that happening so that you see when there are articles in your area um, of expertise, right? And so I'll just tell you, this is really fun. I was teaching my virtual publicity course. I got a text from a colleague in Texas. He said, hey, guess what? The largest ad agency, marketing, right? The largest ad agency just got fired from uh, Motel 6, Cracker Barrel, uh, Dr. Pepper, all kinds of amazingly big accounts because the CEO made a racist remark. Now, he says, uh, I want you to comment. Here's the contact, right? And next thing I know, I'm on Dallas TV that night from Zoom uh, talking about this thing that happened. I made like three comments. I got integrated into like a four minute segment. And then I was looking for it. I'm like, oh, where, where'd that go, right? Then next day I get a Google Alerts under Jill Lublin and it's WFAA TV in Dallas, Texas with my comments integrated in now that I can use that on my website. Yeah. On my social media, I can send it out. I can create and leverage more press because of it. See, that's the power of media. If you get one podcast interview like this, what's wonderful is then you leverage that to other clients, prospects. You say, hey, look at, I, I'm so excited. I just got featured on, you know, Janet Fish's podcast, right? And you spread the word, not only for her, but also, of course, for you. So that's the power of media, which this is media, my friends. Facebook Lives are media, Instagram Lives, LinkedIn, it's all media. So I want you to broaden your perception of what media is and know that all of it serves you to get yourself out there. And what did you said? Visibility something something. Oh, visibility building activities. I yes. That. Oh, I should make that an acronym. VBAs. VBAs. <laughs> <laughs> you, I know you love acronyms. Uh, so, it, so I want to, I want to broaden because even for me, I want to broaden people's perspective. And you've just scraped at the surface of it because I think a lot of us are out there doing things. We might go do a podcast um, and be uh, interviewed. We might go do some Facebook lives and and whatnot. So you get it because you do it every single day, but I want to go a little deeper and like, so I've done that. What do I do with it? Like, how do I get my visibility? What are visibility building activities for Facebook lives or places where if I've been on a podcast, what do I do? Like, what do I do with it? I mean, I think, oh, I just put it up on my social media page and then I'm done. Like, give us some hints of some of the things that you talk about in the, um, the virtual crash course. And then I want to talk about that as well. Oh, thank you. So a couple things. One is everything you do, think leverage. Where can I leverage this? So yes, on your social media, absolutely. On your website, maybe you do a blog about it. It's called like repurposing. So I want you to think about one multi-uses for one thing you do. Um, then transcribe it and make an article out of it. Have a 500 word article out of a podcast you just did. That makes it easy, right? Um, send it to a reporter who specializes in that area and say, hey, I just wanted to you know, share with you. And if you ever need a resource, I would love to be one. Like in your case, you'd send it to a business editor, mm -hmm. right? So if you're a business entrepreneur, you know, you want to keep in touch with business editors, typically. Uh, so that's a couple different things. And then the other piece I would uh, say to do is, uh, so every social media, every website, every blog transcribed. Uh, and then the, uh, the nature of this is to stack things. What do I mean by that? I mean, you want impact of media, you want somebody to open up your website, follow your blog, look at your look at whatever your LinkedIn profile and go, wow, because what they're going to see is stacked up, 
right? And so there's something just about sheer volume mm -hmm. <laughs> that actually really helps. So you don't always have to be concerned about, oh my God, everything I do, I have to leverage. Although I want you thinking from that mindset, how can I leverage everything I do? So that means also all your prospects need to get those interviews. Um, your clients need to get those interviews to be reminded about how fabulous you are and why they hired you in the first place. Right? right. And so I think, honestly, if you do those, I probably named five or six things, that's plenty. It's a huge start. And it will usually generate even more, even more because somebody will see you, maybe they have a podcast and they'll go, Oh, may I have you on my podcast, or somebody will pick it up in. Um, and sometimes, by the way, the oddest things I was in a podcast with a, a colleague and friend of mine, you know, I mean, somehow people have kept seeing this on YouTube. That's what they're talking about. Great. You know, I, I sometimes never know how people find the things they find. But, you know, here's my truth. Whatever way you find it, I'm a happy camper. And for all of you, you know, you just need to know sometimes it's really about volume. That's why I'm saying this, because through the volume, other people's networks, other people's social media status, other people's YouTube channels, like Janet, you know, I know this is going to end up on YouTube. Who knows who will have seen this one first before the other things I have up there? So one thing I know is you never quite know what's going to pop and hit. So I like to pop a lot of popcorn yeah. and as much as possible. That's why I talk about visibility building activities that will make a difference. So is there such thing as too much um, activity? This is one of the things I get concerned about. I So I no. yeah, obviously I do a <laughs> podcast, right? That's, a, that's the short answer. Um, and then I leverage it during the week and I have little sound bites and, and I leverage it on all my different social medias. But I think, and, and during that week that the episode is published, I talk four or five, four or five ways I'm out there talking about the same episode. Like, is that the right thing to do? Like, talk to me about best practices and it, and can you really oversaturate your market with stuff? So it is absolutely the right thing to do. I think that's a great way to uh, to approach it. I love what you're doing. And here's, because here's the truth. Listen, people will tune in at different times to your social media, different hours, different days. Um, you never know who's watching when. So I'm not concerned. Maybe if this is the moment they have a moment, like, oh yeah, this is the third time she sent that to me. Maybe I should look at this, right? Meaning they see a different aspect. So what I've noticed, it's like reporters and the media, funny enough, uh, in guerrilla publicity, we talk about seven times for follow-up, seven times for follow-up. Now think about that. When you're talking to prospects, similar, right? Seven to nine times. When you're talking to media, seven times is, is one of the magical numbers. So if you're doing four times a week, I think that's right on track. Uh, I know that that people will tune in, like I say, differently at different times. So be ready to serve people for whenever they're ready to pick you up. And the other truth you got to know is they're not always reading your stuff. So yeah. when they're on there in that moment, is is the moment we got to grab and and I'm all for grabbing the right moment when it seems to be that right moment right oh so, so it's all good you know that's my point yep. just do what you can do at all times and to be this is the words consistent and persistent in the marketplace got it got it so I've heard and I don't know if this is true or not so you're the expert um I have a I have a Facebook presence, actually a couple of Facebook. I got the fa page, I got the group, I got me, I got LinkedIn, I got Instagram, I've got my email list. But for, just from a social media perspective, is it true that the 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 presence should be uniform? Like I, you know, so this is my 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 stuff. That's my logo ish stuff, right? And I try to make it look the same on each of my platforms. Is that an important thing to do? I mean, that's kind of a branding question, but how important is it that your your different um, the the way you look on different places is uniform and looks the same? Well, I believe in it totally. I mean, when we got on this podcast, she said, Joel, you got all your books behind you. <laughs> yes, I do. I have all my books behind me. And if you see me on any podcast, any TV show, guess where I'm sitting? Right here. With a, I know the lighting works most of the time. And, uh, you know, I got all my books, right? And everything's set. 
I think it's really good. I love the fact that your logo is right behind you. I always say to people, put anything you have. You don't have to have books. Put a logo behind you. Put a banner up. Uh, if you're a speaker with you speaking, you know, right next to you, be dynamic in your presentation. Put up a great virtual background, although they have certain issues, uh, yeah, you know, which I don't thing. love. I know. I know. You kind of get lost in them occasionally. But yeah. um, so I prefer, you know, real backgrounds. But listen, you can make a banner in a hot second and let's get at least a banner up uh, showing your name of your business. And, yeah, I, and I, I, that's so this, great. This is a um, poster that I had. This guy does, you know, he's a print guy, po $20 poster in a $30 frame, $20 frame. Um, and I'll move it around like, you know, so people can see it better because I just put it up yesterday. But I think that's really important. So I, I think it's really important. Um, so I know you've got to go. You don't have a whole lot of time, but I absolutely want to talk about because I know you're going to give us something free today. So I always love that. And we need to make sure we cover that. Talk about your free crash course um, in publicity or, or the piece that you're giving us for free. Sure. I have a, a master class. It's a simple interactive publicity tips uh, live with me. And you go to jilllublin.com slash publicity. And we'll give you lots of great uh, free tips to help you on your publicity success. And that'll be fun and live with me. Awesome. So there is a link to that below. So I'll make sure that that gets into the show notes. Any last couple of things you want to share with us, um, Jill, just about people. Uh, so most people that I encounter in, and I coach, quite frankly, aren't even thinking about, they're thinking about marketing, not publicity. So I want to give you just one more chance to kind of sink into our little, my little thick brain. Like what is the, what's the need for publicity? Why do people absolutely need to do it? Cause it's, it's just another way people find you, but I want you to re reiterate that message cause it's just such an important one. It is such an important one, and it is absolutely a way that people can find you. And my friend P.T. Barnum said it best, and that's a terrible thing happens without publicity, nothing. Yeah. So I, I want to share with you that publicity is part of your marketing strategy. It needs to be in there. Think about 10% of your investment financially needs to be put into publicity, meaning visibility building activities, meaning uh, getting on podcasts, blogs, newspaper, radio, you know, everything you can so that your name keeps getting mentioned. Because when people keep seeing you, I call it the I've heard of you somewhere syndrome, right? Yeah. When people keep seeing you, what happens is it generates trust. It generates exposure. It generates referrals. It generates prospects. It generates uh, really clients. And every one of you needs that and that credibility and visibility that gets developed from that publicity, which is free, which puts you out there as an entrepreneur. Let me just share with you, because I see it daily. I work with entrepreneurs all the time, right? One person businesses. These are not necessarily big business. And what I've seen is that uh, as soon as something actually hits, <laughs> right, the, the power of what happens next is a few things I've seen. Website visit increase significantly. Uh, whatever they're selling gets actually bought significantly. I'm talking from 15 to 40 percent increases. Yeah. I'm talking about recognition factors and then getting booked on more and more media so that your reputation keeps growing. Speaking engagements happen uh, very quickly, usually because somebody sees your name and that reputation increases. So the power of uh, using publicity and, you know, start with the baby step one hour a week. You can all afford to do that. I promise you. And if you can't, you're probably not using your time wisely, but I will tell you that I know that each of you has that do it in two 30 minute increments, just head down. What can I do to increase my visibility today? That's publicity, my friends. And that will take you far more. I promise then go and sitting in the coffee shop and having a latte. Yeah. <laughs> um, go, go do that publicity building and watch exponentially your visibility growing. And I'll just share with you, one of my visibility building activities is increasing my networking, especially in these COVID times. I've been able to 
network effectively across the world. It's been so exciting. Um, and so I spend my time in networking events as a visibility building activity. And yeah. that's publicity, which yeah. has led to lots of great things, clients, uh, more speaking engagements. And uh, did I mention clients, yeah. right? That's all really good. Awesome. So I am definitely going to go check out your publicity, the free um, the free course, just because it, as you were talking, um, it just made me think I'm doing so many of these things anyway, but I'm not really doing as much as I can with them. So um, I know you have to run and I could talk to you for another half an hour. So I'm going to let you go. Um, but I just really, really, really appreciate your time today. All right, Breakaway Entrepreneurs, while it's true that success starts with your mindset, it's massive action that gets you there. So special heartfelt thanks once again, Jill Lublin. Thanks for coming on the show today. Be sure to check out her publicity crash course. There'll be a link to it below. I really appreciate your time, and I wish we could spend more time just catching up, but um, we'll have to do that at another time. I look forward to it. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, Jill. Okay. Ben's going to take us out. Thanks for your time. Bye, sweetie. Thank you for listening to the Breakaway Entrepreneur Podcast. If you like the show, please rate, recommend, and review us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts so we can share more actionable insights with the entrepreneur community. Until next time, challenge your mindset, be bold, take action, and financial freedom will follow. You can get helpful resources and templates to guide and inspire you from Janet's free Breakaway Entrepreneur Toolkit. Get it now by going to www.breakawaybusinesscoaching.com forward slash toolkit.